Hi, my name is Dr. Rayshon Ray, aim to speak truth to power, and this is my daily thought. What does it mean to be fit for justice? I had a conversation with some people on Twitter, and um, there was a person who I was corresponding with who started using that particular hashtag, fit, F-I-T, the number four, justice. And it got me reflecting on what it means to do this type of scholar activist work that people are engaging in because I mean it's extremely taxing um, it's extremely uh, it can be extremely frustrating it can be extremely stressful and thus it, it, can, it can at times start to kill people softly so I just want to share a few things that I try to do to be fit for justice um, the first thing I do is is whoever you think your maker is you have to have a relationship with that person so for me that's God so I try to pray on a regular basis, not just in the morning or at night, but just throughout the day about different things that are going on and uh, and kind of how I'm feeling about different situations. And oftentimes for me, I pray less about things that are happening with me or to me and more, more so I pray for the people who I care about and the communities that I care about. And the reason why I do that is because the other thing that I try to put in perspective is that I try not to worry about things that I can't control. So there are certain things that I wish that I could control, but unfortunately I can't control those things. So I start off spiritually, then I go to the mental aspect, which is trying to decipher what I can and cannot control and the things that I can't, I try to let those things go. Um, I try to deal with situations um, quickly, figure out how to process them. I try to compartmentalize and transition onto the next stage. Um, the next one is trying to deal with things emotionally, which is uh, which is which is really something that becomes difficult for, for for myself in a lot of different situations, particularly when I am uh, doing things related to my children. But I try to stay even keel to make sure that I don't ever get too high or get too low, because those sort of things can affect your health, can affect your stress level, can affect your heart rate, can affect your your, your blood pressure, all the sorts of things that play a role in people dying slowly and oftentimes dying early which for certain communities, say like African-Americans or black men in particular, are dying early and too soon. And part of this is trying to trying to do, trying to embrace this John Henryism uh, type of effect, which is where you go, 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 go. You try to overcome stereotypes. You try to overcome obstacles and you don't take care of yourself. So part of it for me is to put that in perspective, try to understand that people can't be John Henry. Even if people are trying to be Superman or Superwoman, they can't necessarily achieve that. We can't we can't achieve that. That's not sustainable. That this is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, the last thing I do is worry about my, my physical uh, body and really try to view it as a temple. Part of that means um, for me exercising four times a week to give people a rundown of what I do. Um, on Mondays, I call it 30 minute Mondays. I get out and I move nonstop for 30 minutes. For me, normally that means running. Um, I get out and run about uh, three and a quarter to three and a half miles um, on Mondays for 30 minutes. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do some other exercises, legs and push ups and sit ups. The point is 30 minute Mondays on Tuesday. I, I lift weights. I get on the elliptical, take Wednesday off. Normally on uh, Wednesday, I take that day off. Normally that is my uh, my long day at the office or it fluctuates from semester to semester. On Thursday, that's what I call the run and run. Got that from Mr. Shut Up and Train. It's a, it's an interval workout where you where you don't stop. I just keep it moving. And on Friday, um, I get on a bike and also lift weights. Take off on the weekend. Normally games with my kids, hanging out with family, those sorts of things. Now, for me, being fit physically is important because I feel like I can't sustain the way that I try to work and live my life without being healthy. And so part of being healthy isn't just exercising, it's also eating healthy. So for me, I do protein smoothies in the morning, eat something green for lunch, high protein, low fat diet, um, and then pretty much eat what I want to for dinner. And I keep that real consistent throughout the day. I also have a cheat day or a few cheat meals. And for me, this, is, this becomes even, um, it, it becomes even more detrimental for me. Um, having some, you know, health issues that, that could exacerbate over time, but also dealing with weight issues. I remember my first year in graduate school, I, I, I ballooned up to weighing, uh, over 260 pounds. And right now I weigh about 200 pounds. Um, and so for me, I know what it's like to be stressed out, to be depressed, to have your weight, uh, go up where I was sitting up eating 
a whole pizza and some chips and a soda just trying to read a thousand pages a week being stressed out with life being stressed out living in bloomington in a place where i knew that my neighbors didn't want me around i mean those sort of issues and i was like i can't let people take my life away so i started changing my lifestyle to be fit for justice and i know that's easier said than done but the point is that for people who are struggling with weight who are struggling with stress who are st struggling with depression who are struggling with trying to eat healthy i've been there i know what it's like so it's not me up here just sitting up here talking about something that i don't know i know what these experiences are like and i know that it's extremely difficult but it's doable and the point is, we want people around for the long haul. We don't want people for a short period of time. We want people for an extended period of time. And part of that is figuring out how to be fit for justice. So, as always, uh, conversations matter like Black Lives and Books. And I hope this has sparked one.